you guys, it's Shannon and Travis, and the craziest thing just happened to us that we kind of just had to make this video. For those of you guys that don't know, I decided that I was going to start doing makeup in Folsom. I get an email the other day from a potential makeup client saying that she's getting married and that she would like me to do her makeup. I was like, okay, cool. So she's asking me a lot of questions, like way more questions than any normal person that wants to get their makeup done would ask. And she also claimed to be a makeup artist herself. So... It was kind of sketchy from the beginning, right? Yeah, this is not really to my department, but my department comes in a little bit when the story gets good. Because the story gets really good here, you guys, in a second. I said, well, for weddings, normally I do like a trial run, and I charge $75 to do like a trial to make sure that you're happy with the makeup, and that's what you want for your wedding day. That sounds so, good to me. Yeah, it's a really good deal. She's like, okay, can you do tomorrow, which is today? And I'm like, sure. She's like, okay, let's do 1.30. But still, at the same time, she was asking me a million questions. And then she's like, can I have your phone number? Because it's really hard, and I'm not really checking my emails to see going back and forth. So I'm like, okay, sure, why not? So I gave her my phone number, which I don't normally do uh, until I actually meet somebody in person because... Clearly, we've had stalker issues in the past. There, there, there's a reason for all of that. Right. It's not just like, oh, I'm trying to be a bitch or whatever. No, it's like, no, not at all. There's a good reason, and like once again, like we find out why the fuck we did that. Right. I ended up giving her my phone number, and she texts me, and she's like, okay, I'll see you tomorrow, and I'm like, okay. Mind you, in between all this, she's asked so many questions. Do you use airbrush or regular foundation? What products do you use? What high-end products? Like, just being annoying, you know what I mean? Like, very annoying and obnoxious. But I was just like... Being cool about him, like maybe she's just very picky because she's a makeup artist herself. Like yeah, that's fine, whatever. Some yeah. So even though she was really annoying, I just like was still being very polite, very professional. So then it comes to today. I'm supposed to be doing her makeup at 1:30. So I get a text from her, and I have all of this on my phone, and it says, <laughs> and it says, "I'm on my way. I'm so excited." And I said. Awesome. Me too. I'll see you soon. All my makeup's all set up and ready to go. I get a text, and she's like. Uh, do you have a cat? Because if you do, I'm allergic. Can you put it outside or something? And I showed Travis the text, and he's he's like, this girl's annoying me already. Mm -hmm. I know, that's kind of rude. I mean, I understand if you're allergic to cats, but I think there's a more polite way of saying it. Well, we'll get into how she found out I have a cat to begin with. But then, she's like, oh, I'm here, by the way. I go outside, and I'm standing in the middle of the street. Well, hold, hold oh, on. So, real, real quick, you gave her our apartment complex address right. which is hundreds of units but not the actual physical number of our apartment no so it's just like hey get here and we'll find you which is yeah you know better safer smart thing to do anyways. right it's just safer for me just because I've had issues in the past of crazy people I said you know park and when you're parked I'll come out and get you I'm outside in the street in pink shorts in pink shorts just letting her know what I was wearing and she said oh I see you and I said, okay, I don't see you. Can you come to me? LOL. Because I'm like, that's kind of freaky because apparently she sees me and I don't see her. And if you live where we live, when you go outside in the street, you have a clear view all around you of where the cars are and where people are. So there was no way that I couldn't see her. You know what I mean? It, and she could them? see me. She says, walking. She said, sorry, parked kind of far. And I'm like, hmm, that's weird because I can see all the parking around here and it's not very far. Oh. So at that point, I was just like, this is kind of getting weird. Mm -hmm. And I just wrote, it's okay, where did you park? She responds back like three minutes later and says, oops, that was the wrong person. I'm by the pool. So when she was saying that she saw me, she said, oops, that was the wrong person. I'm by the pool. And I'm like, okay, well, the pool isn't too far from where I'm at now. So I walk over to the pool. And there's nobody there. I said, okay, can you call me? I don't see you anywhere. I'm at the pool. She writes back, by the tennis courts. And I'm thinking, we don't have tennis courts. And, and I'm also thinking, okay, maybe she's at a different complex. And so, you know, I'm thinking of what complex, other apartment complexes around here that have tennis courts. But I can't think of any. Do you want to know why? Because there are no apartment complexes anywhere that I know of in this area that have tennis courts. So at this point I'm like, this chick is just flat out lying and now I'm just getting like not only freaked out but annoyed. Mind you, hold on, the physical address, the city where we live and the apartment complex was all given to her. And yes. they're not like six different 
co apartment complexes of the same name is pretty fucking easy to yeah. like. Yeah, it's nobody has yeah. ever had a hard time finding our apartment. Like when our family or friends come to visit, no one has ever had a problem finding where we yeah. live. The, I'm gonna just jump in for okay, a minute go because for it. I'm you know, and I love the story because it just all happened stuff. But it's 2015. You have to be a fucking idiot to not know how to get somewhere. Then I said, we don't have tennis courts. I think you're in the wrong place. And she writes mm. to me, where are you? And I just sent her my address again, which she had already had. And I told her what the address was. Like it was going to change. Right. <laughs> and I said, can you call me? Because I tried calling her, you guys, by the way. Um, when she said, where are you? I called her and she never picked up her phone. So then I just wrote her again, my address, and I said, can you call me? It will help me get you to where you are supposed to be. And she writes back and she replies with, I have no minutes, <laughs> meaning she has no minutes on her phone. And she really? says, I can't find you anywhere. I then again sent her my apartment complex address with the name of the apartment complex again, the street name, everything. And the city. Right. <laughs> And she says, okay, I'm by the entrance in a black BMW. Okay. Black BMW? No, no minutes. minutes yeah. <laughs> We're sitting there and I'm like, she just said that she is in a black BMW, but she has no minutes on her phone. So at this point, we're just like, Something wow. Something doesn't add up. Yeah, this is so fucking just out in left field at this point. So. Very, very comical at this point. Yeah, it's just funny. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't see you. Drive to, drive in front of the leasing office, park there, and I'll come get you. She writes, yes. Okay. Let me know when you're parked in front of the leasing office because I'm sitting there and there's nobody there. Then she writes to me, so where are you? I'm not even lying. And she, <laughs> Like trying to get detail. Yeah, like, even... like, like detailed, wanting to know basically what my apartment number was, right? Yeah. And I wasn't going to give it to her. She was nowhere to be found. She, she was never where she Right, she so when she be. realizes I'm not going to give her my apartment actual number of like the house I live in, and then I'm trying to meet her outside. I can walk up with her and see her and know that this is like a legit makeup client. She writes and says, this is not some joke. I didn't drive out here to waste my time. At this point, I started getting even more annoyed because I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? It's now been 30 minutes and you've been wasting my time. And I write, I don't see you. You might be at the wrong complex. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. I've been waiting outside for you and I've tried calling you. Call me. She writes back, I can't call you. I said, where are you? She writes, this is starting to get frustrating. I said, uh, I'm sorry, no one has ever had a problem finding my apartment complex in the past. I tried calling you. And then I sent her my address and apartment, name of the apartment complex again. And she writes, wow, you're not even going to help? I'm leaving, bye. Okay, after I saw that she wrote, I'm leaving, bye, I'm like, this has got to be a fucking YouTube hater, right? Mm -hmm. Total YouTube hater, fucking stalker creepy bitch. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, Travis, I don't even know what to say to this girl. I can't get, yeah, you can't fucking tr hyper transport yourself into a fucking car. Yeah. But at this point, we already knew. I mean, we already knew at bullshit. this point, for right. one, that like this chick was just fucking with me. She was trying to get information from me. She's mm -hmm. probably some creepy fucking stalker, hater bitch that's like, trying to fuck with me and waste my time. So this is what I write back to her. Kill him with kindness. That's what my mom taught me. I'm sorry. I gave you my address and my phone number. I tried calling you multiple times, but I can't physically drive you to my location. I'm so sorry. And that's not a mean thing, but like, it helped. Like, we can't do any more. Yeah. Like, there's nothing else that there we can possibly do. There was nothing else I could say or do. do. Uh, I knew that she didn't even drive to where I was. I know this is not a legit makeup client at this point, you know what I mean? But I'm still being nice to her because she wants me to be upset. This is like her goal, right? So then she writes, I'm sorry if you don't understand, but I'm a busy person with a full-time job and planning a wedding. I only saying, I'm sorry if you don't understand. Like, bitch, I know you watch my videos. Don't try to say you, I have no idea about planning you a wedding. I've been planning a wedding. That. Yeah, I know nothing, please. I only have weekends to get all my shit done for the wedding that is coming up very soon. You may not know this, but planning a wedding is harder than it looks, honey. <laughs> I've already been to five other makeup trials, she puts in quotations, and you are my last hope. Thanks for being inconsiderate of my time and having me run around your apartment complex to try and find you for a half an hour. I drove 45 minutes to get here, and now you've officially wasted two hours of my time, and on top of that, I have a, another appointment to 
today. Thank you for being the worst vendor I have ever had to experience. I guess I'll just do my makeup myself. I could never treat my clients with that utmost respect that I have just experienced. Okay, these are, I swear to God, these are her Those words. Are exact words. Now I'm just like, okay, we officially know that this bitch is cray. Like, hands down, bitches cry. Right, cray, cray. Travis is now worried because he, this is scary. Like, the fact that this person clearly never even came here, was never planning to get her makeup done, was basically just trying to get information of where I lived and trying to fuck with me. Best part of the story. So she calls, and we're like, I'm like, get the camera, hurry, get the camera, because we knew we were going to make a video out of this. Yeah. We couldn't get the camera on before her call. So I'm like, okay, keep the camera on, I'm going to call her back, thinking she's going to answer the phone. So I call her back, she doesn't answer the phone. So then, right when we start to do this video, she calls again, you guys. And so I'm, I'm like, okay, we're gonna record this. So we record it, and we'll insert that video here. Hello? Hi, is this Shannon? Yes? Hi, um, I was wondering, um, hold on. What the fuck? Yep. Yep. What a fucking crazy bitch. So that's just verifying that it's you, basically, is what that was. Dude, that is fucking scary. Okay, we gotta make this video. So clearly, she was just calling to see if it was actually me, and then hung up on me. Fortunately, we didn't give out every single information. Like, yeah, they have the phone number now and some different things, but it's like, I don't, I just don't understand the mentality of people these days. Trying to see if clients are, like, legit and not either, like, creepy stalkers, crazy haters, that are just, like, wanting to fuck with you and get information out there. I mean, for God's sakes, like, our whole wedding... Uh, invitation has been leaked online which really sucked and we had to hire security for that now crazy people out there regardless if you do YouTube or not there are weird people anybody that has the mentality to do what this chick just did is fucking crazy like there's something wrong up there to be taking all of that time and energy out of your day and focusing it onto somebody else to go out of your way to make somebody else upset or you know frustrate them or make them annoyed like yeah. That's just crazy. I can't even fathom the idea of doing that to somebody. My time is way too more, way, way more valuable, and I like want to do things with my time to help other people and make other people happy. And I feel yeah. like I just wish more of the world was was like that because the world would be a much better place. If you guys have any ideas of how I can do makeup and protect myself so that I don't have to worry about things like this in the future, please let me know if you or anybody you know has had this problem before in the past. Guys, now this chick not only has my phone number, but she also has my address. So if that chick gets leaked online, you guys know where it came from. We love you guys. We're sending you all of our love and all of our positive energy, and we hope to see you in our next video. Yeah. And then today I have a story time video for you guys, and it is something that I don't really like talking about because it scares the shit out of me 